There's general tube misery, though, isn't there? <laughs> Oh, it's so busy and people rushing about all the time. A little bit cold and not as friendly. Everyone who lives in London has been to central London and has possibly met the Queen. A lot of Londoners can't afford to buy houses. Is it OK to approach someone on the tube? <sighs> Everyone's just... There's another little bubble, aren't Yeah. But London can be a very lonely place. Oh, you can ask people for directions, yeah, that's no problem. In my opinion, they aren't easily approachable. It's kind of an open, creative city, I think, I, I, my experience. I went and worked in the West End after being a police owner. Oh, really? I worked in the Playboy Club. A uh, security or something? Croupier. Really? You went from leader. policeman to croupier? Yeah, from policeman to crook. Hiya, welcome to Easy English. So today, I want to know what Brits think about Londoners. Here we go. What's kind of one of the biggest stereotypes that you've heard about Londoners? Well, it's multicultural, which yeah. is, is the difference to a lot of other areas. The first stereotype I think that I heard of Londoners before I moved to London was that um, there isn't many um, English people living in London. Um, unfriendly. <laughs> okay. um, is it true? <laughs> yeah, I d I'm, I'm, no, it's the, it's the same people, it's just, Busy, tend to be busier under higher pressure. There are so many different cultures all blending together in London. Being maybe a bit unfriendly or not time, no yeah. time to kind of talk. The cheeky Cockney doesn't really apply anymore, mm. does it? What's the cheeky Cockney? I like this. Yeah, well, in the, in the pubs and you East get Enders. them with their <laughs> rhyming slang and, and yeah, things. Pearly I don't think I've ever met one. A little bit cold and not as friendly as, as some other okay. some of the other countries. It's a mix of different uh, nationalities. And this is true or false? Um, yeah, I believe it's true, especially in uh, central London, so zone one and two. Because there's so many more people, the, the friendliness is diluted. People no. think that southerners are very all very rich, but well, they're not. I think they're relatively friendly, actually. I don't think yeah. there's... I think Londoners are awful. Um, <laughs> what are you like as an ex-Londoner? Are you a approachable person? Are you? I'd like to think so. People often have quite a negative view in the sense and think they're going to get mugged, think that you're quite common, think that either you're really, really posh or you're really, really poor. People are really busy. Everyone, right. so, so many people live in London because of work. Have you been to London uh, recently? No, but years ago I was actually a policeman. Oh, really? In London for five years. Really? Uh, Could you ask a Londoner for directions? Can you stop them mid, mid rat race? <laughs> <laughs> I have done, but I probably wouldn't so much now. And are Londoners open to yeah, conversation? Yeah. Some of them are. Some yeah. of them aren't. But... I've done that a few times where you just sort of start chatting, and everyone's really? like, everyone's like, you're chatting to me, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, and then they're like, great. Avoid certain people. People, people who are down and out on the street. It's just always very busy city it's i don't know if it's stereotype but it's very international as well so it's just always very busy with people there's loads of londoners that are really friendly yeah yeah um you just have to look in the right places many people might be lonely because of the, the same reason that uh, they live there because of work and then mm. outside of work it's uh, it might be hard to um, meet not to meet new people but to, to build relationships and friendships, maybe. And cafe, the cafe society up there is yeah. very diverse. And, it's an open and I think you're, you're more likely in a smaller space to actually start chatting to people if you're there on your own. Brighton's more friendly and more kind of accepting and, um, yeah, just like live and let live quite in Brighton, whereas London's maybe, maybe not as that way as okay. Brighton would be. It's very much a work focused city and if you're in work you feel like you're part of the the uh, <laughs> the great movement of people across <laughs> in and out of London. And the rat feel, race. Yeah you feel you're part of that rat race. It's difficult to find places to have conversation which aren't tourist traps because most Londoners keep clear of tourist traps. Generally you know you worry about getting eye contact because people think you're wanting a fight. <laughs> Um, and people often kind of come across quite aggressive. If you want to improve your English, then why don't you consider becoming an Easy English member with the link up here?
We offer three types of memberships, ranging from our video membership to our podcast membership. That's right, Easy English has a brand new podcast. And if you become an Easy English podcast member, then we can send you some language learning goodies. Our most impressive feature is the transcript player, which in real time translates the entire podcast into a selection of different languages. So to improve your English, click the link up here to become an Easy English member. Now back to the episode. I went and worked in the West End after being a police owner. Oh, really? I worked in the Playboy Club, as it was then, was like its own ecos ecosystem. <laughs> it was really fantastic. What is the Playboy Club? I don't know what this is. It's, it was... The Playboy Club was Playboy Bunnies. Oh, really? Like Hugh uh, Hefner-style thing? It was Hugh Hefner. Wow. He had uh, own, I didn't know he had his own club in London. It was a casino. A like, security or something? Croup here. I really? You went from either. policeman to crook here? Yeah, from policeman to crook. <laughs> Is it okay to speak to people, get to know someone on the tube? I never have. <laughs> people are, are going somewhere. And we're, we're, I'm they're talking. not necessarily interested in talking to anybody. <laughs> okay. I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever spoken yeah. to someone, unless I've dropped something or yeah. someone's picked it up. Is it okay to approach someone on the tube? I think it depends who they are okay. and what they're doing. Not so, during the rat race times, I guess. Absolutely not. That would be a big faux pas. <laughs> They'd just be, that, that, that's the sort of thing that would really ruin someone's day. And then they started speaking to me. Oh, I just want to do my own thing. Don't do that. <laughs> if they've got a dog, definitely yes. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I don't think people talk on the tube no. a lot. They don't like to talk on the train particularly. Is, is it okay to make conversation on the tube, on public transport? With Oh, I've never tried making conversation <laughs> when I've been on there. Okay. <laughs> what, why is that? You get the feeling you can't do it? Yeah, I think everyone's just sitting there quietly, really. If you're on the tube, yeah, you can't be friendly to everybody because you're on it 500 times a year and every time it's different people. So Brits who outside London are, uh, they are, it's easier to talk to them. It's like, I wouldn't say... That, that's a stereotype to say that they are nicer. Yeah, okay. But it's like in London, everyone is... Uh, it has to do with the fact that everyone is busy. And would you yourself ever consider becoming a Londoner? I would, no, I wouldn't move back to London. Okay. No. Well, and how long were you in London? <laughs> um, for 21 years. Would you ever think about moving back, moving back to London? No. Um... <laughs> That's there's, a quick response. Yeah, there's, there's um, possibly, when, when I was in my 20s, I loved London. Even when I worked there, I'd never have envisaged uh, living there. Because of the people or the life? Or? Cost. Uh, cost. Yeah. Cost. When you're in the suburbs, you might as well be in Brighton. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let us know in the comments below your experience with Londoners. And as always, we'll see you next week. Ta-ra!